my hands on that Ricky Butcher. He's just like his dad. He's a selfish little sod. I warned her about him. I mean, it was only a year ago she caught him at it with Natalie. And now the same thing's going to happen all over again. What are you going to do? Oh, what can I do? I just have to wait here and pick up the pieces when she gets home. Well, there's another option. What? We go after them. Go after them? Yeah, we go down to this... This place in Camden. Well, why would you want to do that? Well, to help Bianca out, of course. Are you sure it's not because you want to stir things up with Ricky? No, I'm just thinking about her. I don't want to hurt any more than you do. Well, I don't think barging in on them is really going to help. We're not going to barge in on them. We're just going to get there before she does and sort Ricky out. Yeah, and what if Ricky don't want to listen to what we've got to say? Then I'll drag him outside and I'll make him listen. That's our daughter he's fallen about with Carol. And he ain't going to get away with it. But I just don't think there's any point in panicking, all I don't right? want you to panic. I just want you to understand how much this means to Bianca. And not just see it as another opportunity to show what big hero you I are. I understand exactly how she feels. Yeah, well, I don't think you know Bianca as well as you think you do. I mean, she may not always look it, but she's always been really warm and affectionate. I mean, she's just always chosen the wrong people to be affectionate to. I suppose now you're going to say it's all down to me because the girl never had a proper father. Uh, apart from Alan. No? Look, I'm not blaming you. I mean, I wasn't much of a cop of picking the right blokes either, right? I suppose I set a bad example. Well, maybe if I'd have been there when she was growing up. <laughs> She'd have been even more unhappy. Can you imagine you and me playing happy families with Bianca? Yeah, I can. Oh, come on, David. We, would, we wouldn't have lasted two weeks. We'd have killed each other. <laughs> I'm right. I'd have been better than you think. Thanks. What took you so long? Oh, that was a cue. Favourite thing. Well, come on then. I don't want to wait around here all night. It's all right, all right. Bye. Looks as though we won't be staying next to each other at the altar then. What? Well, we're going to be at his wedding. I'd have to have given her away, wouldn't I? It's not funny, David. That wasn't supposed to be. Yeah, well, I reckon if anyone could see a few years ahead, no one would get married at all. With all them false hopes. Is that why you've not done it, then? Yeah. All right. What about you? What about me? Oh, why haven't you done it? Well, maybe I haven't found the right girl. What are you looking for? I'm not. Well, have you found someone already? You must have someone on the go, Bridget. No, no, I'm particular. Young is she, what, um, 17, 18? I mean, I know you like an age gap. <laughs> no, she's, um, no, she's a mature woman, actually. How old? How mature? No, we look younger than you. Well, that's not much of it, really. And who is this woman? Do I know her? Uh, no. 
Yes, I know. Look, don't worry. I'll find it. What? It's been a long time since we were alone together like this. What's that got to do with anything? Come on, Dave. You've got to go. I don't want anything to happen to Bianca. Just round this corner. Well, it better be. Here it is. Well done, David. You've actually got something right for once. Oh, 